He said, Andrew, welcome to Word and Song and to the story of a hymn that consistently makes the list of top 25 or top 50 Christian hymns of all time and was number 13 on the countdown this week on the list that I looked up. It was written by a man named Joseph Scriven, who was an Irish Canadian, started out as a teacher in Dublin and was engaged to his childhood sweetheart. He was tragically killed after being thrown from a horse while crossing a river just before their scheduled wedding. Grief-stricken, Joseph Scriven left Dublin and he moved to Canada where he got a job as a woodcutter for poor and destitute people until he met and fell in love with a woman named Eliza Price. They too were engaged to be married. And then she came down with a case of pneumonia and after a week's long respiratory illness also died. Unlucky in love and all too familiar with loss, 25-year-old Joseph Scriven relied on the anchor of his life, and that was his faith. A few years after that, writing what he referred to as the story of his life in three short verses, which he entitled, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. After the one who in John chapter 15 says to his followers, I no longer call you servants. Instead, I call you friends. It's a great explanation of faith. And a few years after that, a friend of his took his life story to a music publisher who matched it up with a tune that was written by an American attorney named Charles Converse, and the rest, as we say, is history. Well, Joseph Scriven never lived long enough to see his hymn make it to every corner of the world and sung in a multitude of languages. In fact, I remember a woman singing What a Friend We Have in Jesus in Swahili at St. Andrew one Sunday morning years ago. But the story is true, and the hymn is still sung as a testimony to the one who lifts us up and carries us through all the burdens and losses of life that we refer to as the friend of sinners. Well, those of you who have attended Monday evening worship at St. Andrew may recall our own Alan Blackman playing a beautiful arrangement of What a Friend. And we want to share it with you again with the prayer that Joseph Scriven's faith and testimony will lift up yours and draw you close to the one who is the best friend that you and I will ever know. God bless you. Enjoy. <laughs> 